Hello friends. Today I wanted to share one of the most bizarre and, yes, creepy things in nature. Now before I share this with you, I need to tell you that I did something kind of mean to another creature. And if you know me, you know I'm just a huge softy when it comes to any other living creature, plant or animal. Now that being said, I live under no illusion that I'm killing all the time. Right now, my immune system is busy doing a complete slaughter of anything it doesn't like that comes into my system. If I drive anywhere, I'm killing birds, I'm killing mammals and innumerable insects. If I walk or bike in any place but a sterile environment, again, I'm stepping on things and killing them. And most damaging of all, probably, is if I am using a screen to watch this, whether that's a computer or a phone, I have to realize that I'm directly contributing to the mining, the destruction of jungles and forests that happen in order to mine metals, everything that goes into making these devices that make our lives so easy. That being said, I get no joy from harming anything. In this case, we're taking down a shed and here was this mud dauber wasp nest. Now take a look at the incredible craftsmanship <laughs> that goes into this. They're gathering dry dust, essentially, and making it into a clay with their saliva. You can see they're using line after line to create this structure. These are as long and a little bit thicker than a pencil. We did our best to take this down without damaging it to no avail. It's very, very delicate. And so as we brought it down, it crumbled apart, and I wanted to take this opportunity to show you the inside and to show you this very fascinating thing that happens in the world around us, but that is usually invisible to our gaze. When this is broken open, we have something very fascinating inside. As you can see, there are chambers that are built inside of here. And these chambers, yes, they're filled with spiders. The creepiest part is that these spiders, they're still alive. The wasp stings them and injects them with a paralytic. So the spiders are in there. They are kept alive and fresh until the baby, which is a grub at this point, essentially, is going to eat the spiders alive. Yes, if you switch the species around to a certain hominid, you could make this into a pretty creepy movie. But human biases and fears and nightmares aside, this is a fascinating technique that's being used by this wasp to create these chambers, go hunting for spiders, bring the spiders back paralyzed, put them into those chambers, seal those chambers up, in a way that allows their larvae to just enjoy some really fresh meals as soon as it hatches. This is all happening in a super protected environment for the larva, giving them a good chance as long as there's not big, blundering, violent humans coming through and tearing their entire life apart. A really high chance of survival, of making it to adulthood and getting to go out and continue their species. I found this super fascinating. I could kind of sit and look at it all day. What we tried to do is to put it back in a way that would at least give the larva some chance of survival. And we kept it in an area where it was quite close to where the mother was. The wasp was looking around, looking around, trying to find its home. Finally did find it. I'm sure there's not a great chance that that baby will survive, but we're still hopeful. Share in the comments some of the most fascinating things you've discovered about nature. And I'm not talking necessarily about stuff you've seen online, but things you've seen for yourself. It brings up a super quick side story. When Rebecca and I were trackers for the DNR, tracking wolves in northern Wisconsin years and years ago, when we were taking our tracking training, I remember going out to a carcass in the winter and seeing one of my most beloved and innocent birds, a chickadee, 
sitting there feasting on the carcass and recognizing in that moment that chickadees can be kind of carnivorous. Nature is full of surprises like this, so share some that you have discovered down in the comments. Thanks for watching, my friends. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, like, and hit that bell button. And who knows what we will bring you next from Rewild University. Love to you all.